Hey guys, this is Rod and welcome back to a new Minecraft video. Today I'm going to show you five very simple command contraptions that you can create into your world and you will learn how to create working quicksand, simple jetpacks, pass through glass, grappling hooks and explosive TNT arrows. Alright guys, I'm in survival mode and look at what happens when I step on top of this suspicious sand here. As you can see, I transformed it into a quicksand and also I get a mining fatigue effect so it is going to be very hard to escape it and also when I die I will get a message that shows that I suffocated in a wall. That's how simple this command creation is and let me show you guys how these three command blocks here work together. And before starting the video I want to remind you guys that you'll find all of the commands that I'm using in this video on my webpage which is linked in the description of this video or on the card that will appear on the upper right corner of the screen right now. So I'm going to go through them very quickly. If you want to set this up in your world, make sure that you place three common blocks, one on top of the other. And the bottom one is, has to be set on repeat, unconditional and always active or uh, needs redstone and then you activate it with a lever. And the other two common blocks have to be set on chain, unconditional and always active. Right, so very quickly I'm going to go through them. The first command block here is going to detect for all of the players and then it's going to detect if there is a cobweb block two blocks beneath that player and also if there is a suspicious sand block one block beneath that player. If so is true, it's going to teleport that player 0.1 blocks below the ground. So basically I get teleported inside the suspicious sand block and then the cobweb is going to do the job and make me sink very slowly. That's pretty much how I made this. Then I have two additional commands. This one is going to detect whenever I'm inside the suspicious sand this time and it's going to give me a damage effect so I basically die. And the last command is going to give us a mining fatigue effect. Now let me show you guys how you can set this up with any kind of block. Let's say that we want to do it with a cherry planks. Press F3 plus H to see the ID of the block. In this case it's cherry underscore planks. Then you have to dig down in your world, you choose the area where you want to have the quicksand and dig down a hole that is two blocks deep. I'll make it, yeah, I want this area to be my quicksand area. Then I'll have to fill the bottom layer with uh, cobwebs just like this and the upper layer with the block that you've chosen, in this case the cherry planks. Then you surround them with some more cherry planks so it's harder to see where the quicksand starts. And that's it, that's how you set up the area. Now of course it doesn't work yet because we will have to change a couple of IDs inside the command blocks. In this case instead of suspicious sand you will have to delete it and uh, replace it with the ID of the block you chose, in this case it's cherry planks, just like this and you'll have to do it in all of the three command blocks. And then the last one. Alright, now if I jump on top of it, you can see that I sink inside the <laughs> cherry planks. That's pretty much how you create quicksand in Minecraft. So let's continue with the second creation. This is a very simple version of a jetpack. It's simple, but still it does the job very well. So whenever I press shift, you can see that I descend into the air. And if I press shift while looking down, I ascend very slowly. Uh, basically this is so if I'm in game mode survival it's so I don't die so when I press shift while looking whenever I want I go up if I look straight down and press shift you can see that I fall slowly and then I do not get any damage effect while if I don't press shift while looking down I will fall down and yeah probably die as you have seen okay guys so let me show you how you create this is a very simple command contraption there are only four running command blocks and then a fifth one which you will have to run only once copy it from a website and paste it inside your chat you just have to activate it once this one here is going to create a scoreboard objective with this criteria and what it does it basically detects when we shift so if i press shift you see you will see a number appearing on the screen you can see jetpack and there's a number on the scoreboard objective now we can detect that number using command blocks that's exactly what i've done using this command here so i give a levitation effect to all of the players that have a score of minimum one on the jet jetpack scoreboard and if they are not looking straight down in this case they get a levitation effect you can change this effect and make it stronger or weaker if you lower the number you will you will ascend lower and so forth then the second command is going to give the players a slow falling effect when they are shifting but this time 
when their head rotation is looking down. So when we are looking down, instead of giving us a levitation effect, we get a slow falling effect. Then the third command block is responsible for playing a uh, the sound that you hear when I shift. Yeah, so it makes the jetpack a bit more uh, realistic. And the last command is going to reset our score on the jetpack scoreboard objective. We want to reset the scoreboard because we don't want to have the levitation effect applied infinitely to us. And that's pretty much guys how you create a very simple jetpack in Minecraft using only four command blocks. Let's continue with the third command contraption. This is a pass through glass. I've created here a glass wall and if I shift and walk into it, you can see that I am able to pass through it. This is very useful if you want to create, for example, a house and you want uh, players to be able to pass through a one of these gates here, but you don't want uh, mobs to be able to pass through them, right? So instead of using doors, you can set up this one here and I'm pretty sure that it will also impress your friends. Uh, the way you do it, it only requires two running command blocks and then again, one command that you'll have to run only once. You paste it in the chat. It's the same exact command similar to the jetpack uh, scoreboard objective. In this case, I named it sneak but it has the same exact criteria. So basically it detects when we, when we sneak. When I sneak, you can see that I get a score on the that scoreboard objective. So the bottom command block is going to detect for players that are sneaking, and then it's going to detect if there is, you can see here, if block glass, is going to detect if there is a glass block in front of their feet, and then a glass block in front of their eyes. So if there's a glass wall in front of uh, that player, then the command is going to teleport that player 0.01 blocks in front. So basically it goes inside of the glass block. So if I shift, you can see guys that the command is teleporting me just a little bit in the front. So basically I get inside the glass. And then once I'm in, I am able to walk simply, just like this. That's how simple it is. The second command is responsible for resetting the scoreboard objective. So basically, uh, of course, we don't want to be uh, teleported uh, continuously, right? Whenever we are not pressing shift anymore, the score is reset and we don't get teleported. Now, what if you want to make it work on other blocks? Let's say tinted glass. It's very simple. Go on the command block at the bottom and wherever you see glass, there's glass written twice here. You can see one and two. You will have to change this ID. So in this case, I'll use tinted underscore glass and again tinted underscore glass. In this case, you can see, look, I'm not able to pass through normal glass, but I'm able to pass through tinted glass. This one is very cool. I renamed a uh, fishing rod grappling hook and it does exactly what the name says. It's a working grappling hook. So wherever I throw it, as you can see, I get uh, uh, pulled towards the hook. How does it work? Uh, it looks complicated, but it's not. There's only four command blocks. The first one is going to detect for the fishing bobber entity. So whenever we throw this thing here, which is called fishing bobber, Minecraft considers it as a, an entity. So basically we are able to detect it. And whenever the fishing bobber reaches the ground, this command block here is going to teleport us towards the towards that fishing bobber but it's going to teleport only the players that are holding the special grappling hook fishing rod if i'm using a normal fishing rod you will see that it will not work so make sure that you remain rename it to grappling hook or you change the name in the commands i'm going to show you guys how to do that so if i use a normal um, fishing rod it doesn't work right okay so the first command teleports us towards the fishing bobber whenever it reaches the ground then the next command here is just responsible for unstacking us from the ground. When we get teleported towards the bobber, since the bobber is on the ground, we get teleported inside the blocks. And this second command here just unstacks us. As you can see, it teleports us one block above. Then the third command block is responsible for uh, killing the fishing bobber whenever the players are uh, at a distance of 1.1 blocks. So basically I throw the bobber, it, re it reaches the ground, I get teleported to it and then when I reach it the command block removes it. Then the fourth command block is responsible for detecting whenever there's a wall in front of us and when there is a, a wall in front of us it's going to remove the fishing bobber even if we are not close to it. So yeah, you can see that I stop in front of whatever block I get in front. And that's pretty much how you create a simple grappling hook in Minecraft. If you want to change the, the name of your item, for example, hook, 
make sure that you do it in uh, the anvil but you will have to do it also in all of the commands so wherever you see text colon grappling hook change it to the name that you chose in this case hook and again hook then again here and again on the fourth command block here in this case look i renamed it hook it works that's pretty much it all right guys the fourth one is uh, very fun because it's a special bow that shoots explosive arrows again as i did with the grappling hook i renamed a bow i renamed it super bow so it works only if you have a renamed bow. If you change it in the command blocks, you can use any name you want. In this case, I use the bow renamed as Super Bow. So look at what happens when I shoot an arrow with this bow. Yeah, you can see that the arrow is explosive. Of course, they cause damage. Let me go here. You will see that you'll be able to break blocks with them. Uh, yeah, they are pretty overpowered. Again, this is a very simple contraption. It only requires three command blocks. The first command, the one at the bottom, is responsible for detecting whenever a player is holding a bow which is renamed Super Bow. And then close to that player, all of the arrows that are shot get a tag which is named is Super. So all of the arrows that are shot from this bow get a tag named is Super. So they become Super Arrows. Right, so the second command detects whenever one of those Super Arrows reaches the ground this nbt tag here is given to the arrow whenever it reaches the ground and by using it in this command here we are able to detect when the arrow is on the ground and whenever the super arrow is on the ground we summon a tnt this tnt also has a fuse of zero so basically it uh, instantly explodes Th that's how simple it is then the last command block is going to kill the arrow that just landed on the ground because otherwise we would have infinite TNTs. And that's pretty much it guys. That's how simple it is but how fun this item can be using only 3 running command blocks. So that was it guys. If you liked this video don't forget to rate it, drop a like and also make sure to watch this other video that I've made. That's pretty much it and I'll see you guys in my next video. See you. Bye.